Hey, Gemini. So during the pre-shuffle, I saw the Knight of Swords and the, I just saw the Ace of Wands. So you could have, be having a new beginning with someone or um, some kind of new creative endeavor. Uh, but I saw the Knight of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. So are you rushing to offer something to someone, Gemini? That Knight of Swords is very fast, erratic movement. I've already pre-shuffled, but I still like to give the cards a little shuffle. And we're going to get started. So the overall energy, the bottom of the deck is the Knight of sword i mean the nine of swords i'm sorry so you are anxious about something mentally you have some mental anguish going on here give me a second i'm trying to fix my um microphone but you got some mental anguish going on here what's going on gemini what's going on in the past the recent past the five of pentacles so so you were left out in the cold you feel left out in the cold which would explain the mental anguish the current energy you're contemplating you're contemplating oh i'm sorry this reading is for whoever you are with whoever you're thinking about or if you guys are separated i read from the woman's perspective and this is the women and the men that they're dealing with so so in the recent past, there was a separation here with this five of swords. I mean, with the five of pentacles. Somebody left someone out in the cold. Could be dealing with a with an earth sign. In the current energy, you're, you're contemplating all of the time, energy, and resources that you put into this. And I, and I really feel like you didn't get back what you put in. How they view you is the six of cups. So your person views you as the six of cups. This is about reconciliation. So they view you as someone that they would like to reconcile with. This is also about um, ha having fond memories. So this person is thinking of the memories that you guys had together. This is someone who you could have had kids with, but this is definitely someone from the past with the Six of Cups. Could be dealing with a war sign. How they feel about you is the Three of Pentacles. So they feel like they want to cooperate or collaborate with you, build something with you. Why this is all happening is the Page of Cups. So they may want to apologize for something. They may want to apologize for walking away and leaving. They may want to come towards you and give some kind of love offer and, and, and tell you that they want to build with you. Um, but just keep in mind, it's a page. So this is somebody who is, this could be somebody younger than you. This could be somebody, but definitely somebody who's emotionally immature, okay? How they see themselves moving to forward with you is the moon. So this could be confusion, secrets, uh, loss of faith. What's hidden that you don't know about is the Nine of Cups. So I think what's hidden is the, is the fact that they want to come and offer you some kind of love offer. But just keep in mind that that Nine of Cups is someone is the whisper sweet nothings night. So they know all the right things to say and do. These knights, the knights are always moving. They're in and out besides that knight of pentacles. The knight of pentacles is the most stable. But um, this knight of cups knows all the right things to say. So just keep that in mind. Advice from tarot is the king of pentacles. I think that's telling you to focus on your money, focus on your business. If you have businesses, focus on your career. And focus on finding stability. Um, but we'll have to clarify. And then the outcome for you two is judgment. So some kind of final decision. This could also symbolize reconciliation, that judgment card. But we'll have to clarify. So let me get my clarifying deck, which has also been shuffled. And let's do this. Oh, no. So why is the nine of, of swords here for Gemini? Why is that the overall energy? You're anxious. 
and I pr it's probably because you guys aren't in communication so you feel like this person has just probably forgotten about you the five of wands so there's some conflict <clears throat> there's some conflict going on currently I think you're conflicted uh, mentally and emotionally personal personally that's what I think but there could be some jealousy going on could be dealing with a fire sign <clears throat> there could be some arguing happening why is this five of wands here <laughs> queen of wands okay so you aren't the queen of wands you're the queen of swords so who's this queen so there could be conflict between you and whoever this queen of wands is about this guy okay so this guy could have left you for this other queen of wands that's a uh, fire sign every Sagittarius Leo doesn't have to be but you know typically is why is the queen of wands here this is somebody who's confident somebody who has their selves together this is someone who takes action the Sun This could have been someone that they went back to in the rider weight it is a kid as a child and a son on that card this could be somebody who they've had a previous relationship with this could be someone that they um, have kids with you could be dealing with a Leo it's a lot of fire energy here that Queen of Wands is normally in third party relationship she's she's normally the side chick that Queen of Wands. Why is the Sun here? Nine of Cups. This could be about self indulgence or wish fulfillment. So this this Queen of Wands could see your person as their wish fulfillment, or vice versa. Your person could see that, see them as that. But definitely some conflict between you and this Queen of Wands person, which has you mentally anguished. So in the recent past, it's the Five of Pentacles. Why? The Five of Pentacles. This person left. This person left. This person left and left you out in the cold. They could have left you for whoever this Queen of Wands is. That two fives, that's a three fives. Three fives, because you got the five of wands. That's a lot of conflict and instability in this relationship. That's a lot of conflict, three fives. Why is the five of pinnacles here? There could be some instability in money, some money issues. The star card. You could have been dealing with an Aquarius. This person could have a lot of attention. This person could, could get a lot of attention and could be um, the center of attention. That star card is also about healing, about hope and faith. So in the recent past, you could have had hope and faith that this relationship was going to work out, but they left. But I really feel like this person was the center. This person had a lot of admirers. They may have been the center of attention and they walked away and left you out in the cold. Why is this star card here? That's major arcana for, uh, you gotta be joking. The five of swords. This is a narcissistic person. This person is selfish. And this person is a person who will win at all costs. Now that's four fives. There is a lot of conflict and a lot of instability in this uh, relationship could be dealing with an air sign oh well yeah could be, you could be dealing with another air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius so currently you're evaluating the situation and you're seeing that you put a lot into this relationship and you didn't get anything out of it but this seven of Pentacles why is this seven here Ace of Wands. So you're wanting something new. You're ready for a new beginning, a new passionate be beginning. You could be embarking on some kind of new project, some kind of new creative project. Could be dealing with a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But you're definitely ready for a new beginning. 
why is this ace of wands here for gemini eight of wands things are moving quickly these changes that you're trying to make they're moving they're happening quickly they're coming in you you could also be getting some kind of communication from a fire sign why is this eight of wands here you could be traveling traveling for work because at one point things were stagnant uh you felt blocked maybe you felt like you couldn't see things for what they were you couldn't make a decision you felt like you were at a crossroads things are changing quickly here with this eight of wands you could have physically blocked this person also block them from your cell phone block them from your social media so they view you Okay, so they view you as the Six of Cups and the King of Pentacles. So they view you as somebody who's stable. They view you as somebody who is consistent. They view you as someone who's hardworking. They view you as somebody who's materialistically wealthy. Be careful. Be careful because you've already invested a lot and didn't get anything out of it. So please, my successful Gemini women, don't lead with your money. Don't lead with your money. Um, and like I said, they want to come back around with this six of cups. This is somebody from your past. So they view you as somebody that they have good memories with. And then they view you as somebody stable. You could be dealing with a earth sign. Why is the king of pentacles here? They also view you as somebody who is moving on and, and letting this die. This relationship end, which you should. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. So you must not be investing any time or emotion um, into it. And they view you as somebody who's letting this die and moving forward. Could be dealing with a Scorpio with that death card. How do they feel about you? So they feel like they want to partner with you or collaborate with you. They feel like they want to build with you with this three of pentacles. They feel like you are their soulmate with this two of cups. So even after all the deceitful stuff that they've done <coughs> to you, they still feel like you're their two of cups and that, and that they could build something with you. Could be dealing with a water sign. Why is this two of cups here? They feel that you've taken a, that you've taken a break from this relationship or that you're not putting anything in. You're not making any moves in this relationship or lack thereof. So they feel like you're not doing anything. They also feel like you're balanced and they feel like they know they wronged you. They know you, they know they wronged you in this relationship. They're not, they're not, uh, oblivious to it. They know that they wronged you. So why this is all happening is the page of cups. So after they've done all that, they're going to come towards you with a page of cups offer. Yeah. Okay. Two pages. You can have kids with this person or there could be a huge age gap here. You could be older and they're younger than you or vice versa. But this person wants to communicate. This person could be watching you, watching your social media if you haven't blocked them. Uh, they may be trying to communicate with you and you have them blocked. <clears throat> but this person definitely wants to communicate. Why is this page of swords here? Could be dealing with another air sign. They want to slowly come towards you here at this Knight of Pentacles and make you an offer, a more stable offer. But I feel like they don't know how you will respond to that just because how they view, view, view you is somebody who's letting this situation die. And they know that you that they wronged you here and how they feel about you. And they also know that uh, you've basically just taken a real hiatus from this. So they want to come towards you and talk to you and communicate, but they're taking their time because I don't think they really know how you would respond to it, if at all. 
So the way that they see themselves moving forward with you is the moon card. I'd say that they don't have a lot of faith. Yeah, they don't have a lot of faith that things will work out with you guys or that they will be that or that he'll be able to move forward with you. But he's hanging in there with that nine of wands. You know, he's standing strong. He just doesn't have a lot of faith. Why is this nine of wands here and how they want to move forward with you? Yeah, they want to take a new leap of faith with you. Could be an Aries. They want to take a new leap of faith with you here. They want to take a risk. Why is the Fool card and how they want to move forward with Gemini? Yeah. I think it's taking a lot of strength and to hold them back from really expressing that to you. They could be holding back emotionally. Also, their pride could stop them, could be stopping them from coming forward and saying, hey, I know I did you wrong and I apologize. So, but they do want to move forward with you. Definitely. They're, they just aren't confident that it will be uh, successful or that they, they will be successful. What's hidden is the Knight of Cups. Yeah. So what's hidden is the fact that they want to give you a love offer and they want and they want to offer you balance. They want to offer you an even get an even give and take. I'm gonna pull one. I'm gonna pull one more card on that because I heard something else, but I want to verify before I say it. Give me one more card on this energy. Uh oh. Mm -mm, too many. I'm not gonna take any of those. Give me one more. One more card on this energy. The Hermit. So after a time of self-reflection, I think they have figured out that, especially with that Two of Cups, that they really want to be with you. They want to come towards you and offer you but be careful of that Knight of Cups because like I said, that, that Knight of Cups knows all the right things to say. They want to offer you balance. Okay? You could be dealing with a Virgo. They want to offer you an even give and take. Give me one more card. But like I said, there's a lot of instability here in this commitment. I mean, in this union, there's a lot of instability and there's also a Queen of Wands in that overall energy. So don't forget that. And now there's a queen of cups. So this is what I was hearing earlier when I said, let me clarify. Whenever I see the six, this one, see in the, see all these hands down here. You see how they, that they're given to more than one person. Okay. There's a queen of cups here that has a lot of emotion for them. Okay. This knight of cups. This could be somebody that they that they ghosted. But this Knight of Cups, this knight is someone, this is a, this is like Casanova, okay? There are two queens here now that aren't you. Two queens in a reading signifies rivalry. This person is dealing with, with more than one person still, okay? So the advice is to focus on yourself with this King of Pentacles. Why? Because the situation is still toxic. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. I think it's saying to, in order to cut the obsession that you have with this person, if you have one, is to focus on yourself. Because this person is still toxic. This person is the, this person wants their cake and eat it too with this nine of cups in the overall energy why is the devil here in the advice the hierophant this would be a toxic commitment this would be a toxic commitment and the outcome is the judgment why is judgment here the will of fortune 
I honestly think once you decide to leave this alone and really leave it alone, the wheel will start turning in your favor. Have you ever heard of people who have the wrong associations and it stops the blessings? I honestly feel like until you remove this situation out of your life for good, you will stay stagnant. You will stay stagnant. You will not be able to see clearly. You need to let this die. And the wheel will start turning in your favor. Once you make that final decision. Why is the wheel of fortune here? And anyways, if it's not supposed to be here, you will be enjoying your single life your single wealthy life with this nine of pentacles. I feel like you were putting money into this and that's why you have issues with your money. You got the five of pentacles here twice. So you put a lot of money in this. Stop leading with your money. They view you as the king of pentacles up here. Okay. Your luck will change financially once you let this go. Give me one. Give me one more. Focus on yourself. Another queen that isn't you though. Focus on yourself with this queen of pentacles. That's another queen who isn't you. Okay. Let's pull a romance card. And let's see. Let's pull one. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. That's that devil energy. This person could be codependent on you. This person could have some sort of addictions and you were taking care of them financially. But whatever was going on here, it is it was affecting this relationship and you've probably had other relationships with the same kind of um, factors going on and it affected those relationships. So you need to focus on yourself and let them focus on themselves. So Gemini, I hope this helped. I know it wasn't the best reading, but I hope you find it helpful and I will talk to you soon.